moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And this will make it into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. On first and 10, Winston. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. At the 27 yard line. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the 26-yard line. On second and 11 now, Winston. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And their inaugural sack of the game coming from an unlikely source. You mean it wasn't a linebacker? It wasn't a defensive end? It was somebody like you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a surprise for the offense. That's not what they normally get when they think about pressure. Play fake. Winston. And let this thing go for Sanders. And this will be caught at the 30. Past the 20. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even do know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Saints 7, Jaguars nothing. Will Lutz to kick After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Minshew and the Jags now with a first and 10 at their own 24. And right away, he'll look to throw. Caught out left side by Robinson. Give him eight on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards on the play, first down. Gain of 15. First down, Jacksonville. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Throwing on second and three. Minshew, throw left side complete. It's Robinson. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. 
A throw over the middle, taken in. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they look at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll try to left side. Robinson. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. run got a couple here second and eight Minshew sets to throw and his throw here is incomplete Marshawn Lattimore right there on the coverage he was draped all over it eighth play of the drive forthcoming and they need eight yards on third down now Minshew and that is caught touchdown Jacksonville Tyler Eifert there to make the grab and the Jaguars are within an extra point of tying this one up Good. He got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light thing. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that play. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. On the ground, Kamara. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Second and eight at the 41-yard line. They'll try to throw now. Winston escaping the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. A good running there by Kamara on first down as he takes this ahead for a gain of five. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range. 
but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Five yards to go. Out of the gun now on third down. And finding Keelan Cole. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 154 left on the clock here in quarter number two. Now Minshew on first and ten. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Robinson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll run on first down. Robinson. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. Let's go, boys. Let's go. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Right back to him on first down. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Saints, now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This one complete to the tight end, O'Shaughnessy. And the Jags are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target, but now it's third and goal. Now we got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that little partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Minshew again, eluding the pressure right. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Forced out to his left. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tyler Eifert, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jaguars have taken the lead. And he'll bang that one through. Makes the score, Jaguars 14, Saints 7. 
And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Saints take over first and 10. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that? In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball... You can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. He's got it complete to Thompson. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll drop to throw. He'll fight his man, LaVisca Chenault. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. First down, Jaguars. Minshew, first and ten. Flushed out right. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Time is now run out on this first half of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. quite make it to the 25. First and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. On second and nine, Minshew. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. Minshew throwing on third down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They go with Murray again. 
About three yards there to the 27. I have to think a major focus of the halftime, Minks, had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off. And, oh, Jameis intercepted a third time. Picked up by Sidney Jones. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. Situation, but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. They begin the drive with Robinson, and he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Here's Minshew, buying time to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. They'll try the left side. Robinson. And he will fight his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing on second and eight. Minshew to the left side here for Eifert. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And the Jaguar first down. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Demario Davis there on the stop. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's Jaguar football here, and they'll look to extend their lead as we begin quarter number four. First down, it's Robinson. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. It's now second and six. They'll drop the throw. Steps away to his left. Now he'll pull it down, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Back to throw here. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll try the left side. Robinson had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Malcolm Jenkins up to make the stop. Second and five. On second down. It's Robinson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. First and goal at the seven-yard line. Now back to throw. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Trey Hendrickson showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. On 
on second down now. It's Robinson. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. They get five on the run, but it leaves them with a tough third and goal forthcoming. Out of the gun is Minshew. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. From six yards away. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to solve this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. Run down at the 23-yard line. It's a gain of five. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Flush to his right. He'll run it. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. For a big guy, Jameis sure can move. Did a nice job there picking up the first down with his legs. The 38-yard line. From the gun, Winston, dancing to his left. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Brings up second and 10. From the shotgun, it's Winston. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Winston now from the 50. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 47. 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will make it into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Saints take over first and 10. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Working out of the gun, Winston. Being chased out left. And this one is incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. On third down, Winston. They'll roll him out right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Whenever you see a quarterback break contain, just think to yourself, the receivers on that side of the field, their number one job, make sure they get in his sight line so he can try and find someone downfield. Guys on the backside, 
Make sure you don't give up the deep ball. They tried it there. They weren't able to connect. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Jags take over in terrific field position. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. David Onyemata there on the tackle. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. On second down, it's Robinson, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. First and goal at the They probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Minshew sets to throw. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore right there on the coverage. He was draped all over it. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And, you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time and the hitters get to see him, and then they come out after that and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything down from that point on. What a great convincing performance.